The Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Tries to get around the corner, and he hits him hard at the 47. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a of ball carry. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Fires it out, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Number 28 on the tackle at the 36-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Here we go! They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Throws complete, big loss. Number 92 takes him to the line the 44 yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game and see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Tackled for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. They're not ready for this. They still playing soccer. Y'all playing Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Scramble. And they make the stop at the 32 yard line. From their own 32 yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 40. That makes it second and two. This guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. They hand it off. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. You can't block me. They'll knock him down for a loss. The halfback loses about one on the option. 
that makes it third and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. Larry, Larry, go deep. I see it up. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Set. Set. Ah, ah. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. This is the 10th play of this drive. Check back 11, check back 11. Let's go, D. Down! Oklahoma! Makes it out to about the 13. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. From the one yard line, Check second down. Check Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Hut, Texas. Hut, hut. Touchdown, Tech. <laughs> nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. It was a 13-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart off. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the gate. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Sheds that one. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and ten. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Georgia Tech leads 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! And he just gets rid of it. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Georgia Tech up seven points. Oklahoma! The fullback rumbles for a six-yard gain on the option. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And the fullback picks up a couple there on the option. That'll bring up 32. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Hey, check, check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. Set. Hot. He's tackled in the open field. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Green, 88! 98 Weasel! Green, 98 Weasel! They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of 7 yards. That'll bring up second and 3. Here we go! Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Tackle around the 34-yard line. Game of 13 on the play. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 17. That's a team of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Goes right, picked off. That's a great tackle at the nine yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own nine. Georgia Tech is up seven. He's to the 20. Gets out to around the 25. Two yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting Losses popped pretty quickly. Away. He'll bounce right back up. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. Hut. Hut. Makes it to the 22 yard line. No, no gain, gain on, on the play. play. That'll, That'll make it third and 13. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, check, check Mike 11. Check Mike 11. Down! Hey! Here comes the pressure. Going deep. And it's caught. Inside the 30. 
Brought down at the 14-yard line. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's second and 12. Ball on the 16-yard line. And they got him for a loss. Takes him down behind the line. Loss of one on the play. Third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. You don't want it. You don't want none of this. Pick up the ball. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. Down. Blue for you. Here's the pass. Broken up. Wow, I thought he was going to squeeze that pass in for six points, but the defensive back does a nice job to reach out and bat it away. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Georgia Tech can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Irving. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Set, light, 80, you know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. had it intercepted and they're going to have to bring on the punt team the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt and this one is a beauty and he's tackled at the 34. and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again Tries to buy some time. Good open field tackle. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. Scrambling around. And they make the stop around the 47 yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. That brings up second and nine. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 49 yard line. Quick roll, almost intercepted. Fourth and five. Try to change the field position with this kick. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on them. He's into the open field. He's to the 40. And they finally knock him out at the 44-yard line. Speed will get you noticed, but I guarantee you, it takes more than speed to succeed at this level or the next one.
First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Once and all, going deep. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. We played a half of football. The Yellow Jackets lead 10-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, do you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out and obviously you're, you put your game on tape. They, coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, they don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. You got to take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your, it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Rad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, Number David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, first down. carries for a pickup of three. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice solid tackle. He's taken down at the 47 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Passes to the back, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That's a game of two on the ball. That makes it second and eight. Ready, green, and he ain't stand ready. And they hit him in the backfield. Third and ten coming up. Ball on their own 20. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's go! Play 80! Come on! And he's level at the 12. That's a loss of 80 yards. That makes it fourth and one. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 49. We're about set to start things up again. Makes it to the 37. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. Four yards away here on second down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 13-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So they'll respot the ball, and we'll get this game going again. Third down now, and goal to go. Ball on the one-yard line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Down, 10, 19. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us fourth and goal. Ready? 
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Big stop by the defense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense yeah. has to get Blue rolling. Q -Q. Blue set. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 47. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he's taken down at about the 45. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Let's go. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Set, Sam, 1019. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 10-0, Yellow Jackets. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. That brings up fourth and 15. He really got a hold of that one. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch, you know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's tackled at the 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 11. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the play. First down. He's got an opening. He's at the 40. And he's finally brought down at the 34. First down. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. And he's 
tackle right away. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's at the 20. That's a great tackle. The 19-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Green 90! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out around the 8-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Defensive coordinator anticipating this 5-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws, and he's got a man! Touchdown! football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 90 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 10-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. He's to the 40. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. Tackled at the 43. Nothing there on the keeper. That makes it second and 10. Make the stop around the 46-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Syracuse staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Throws a strike over the middle. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense go. right where you want them. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Delayed 
two-point handoff. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. He wants it all going long. Can't connect. From the 44-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Go back to him on a quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just over a minute left. Here we go! And down he goes around the 13-yard line. Number eight makes the set at the 13-yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it second and six. The cavalry's coming. Touchdown, and now they're in front. And he tacks on the extra point. Syracuse is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. He's going to try and scramble. Georgia Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he got about six on that little scramble. Scrambling around, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. out here very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space under a minute left in the game he gets rid of this one second and ten ball on the 30 yard line Throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Now he's scrambling. The 10. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 14-10, Syracuse.
for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.